Yo, ho, ho, Da Mafia. Welcome to yet another edition of the Da Mafia Report. And you read that title correctly. In fact, we're going to be previewing the Seattle Seahawks rolling up into Orchard Park, New York to face off against the 6-2 and two Buffalo Bills. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to lie to you. I have been slightly shitting my pants all week. This is going to be the Buffalo Bills' first true test, in my opinion. I mean, we did end up failing our first two tests against the Titans and the Chiefs, but, you know, that's a story for another time. We're just moving forward, baby. That's all it is. Per usual, what I'm going to do is I'm going to preview exactly how I feel like the Bills' defense is going to perform against the Seattle Seahawks' offense, and then vice versa, the Bills' offense versus the Seahawks' defense. It should be a relatively quick episode, but there are a lot of things that I do want to cover. Before I dive into it, I need to just throw out a quick reminder. I am giving away either a PS5 or an Xbox Series X the moment that I reach 10,000 subscribers. I'm like 500 subscribers away from making that announcement. So if you want to enter, signing up is relatively simple. Subscribe to this channel like this video, screenshot proof, rate of you being subscribed, and then send me a DM on Instagram with that screenshot. And then the second that I hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm gonna make like this big ass video and make my announcement there, so don't miss out. Yeah, Dom Mafia, so like I said, this game is going to be relatively scary, but at the end of the day, I sincerely believe that the Buffalo Bills can pull off this upset. We might as well address the elephant in the room of how the Buffalo Bills defense is going to do against the Seattle Seahawks offense. Ladies and gentlemen, the Seattle Seahawks offense is no f joke. And so they're like the leading in the league as far as scoring is concerned. And Russell Wilson, I mean, for God's sakes, let's just go on ahead and hand him the MVP because that's the type of season that he has been able to put out. I mean, this guy's absolutely scary. His weapons are scary. He has Lockett. He has DK Metcalf. Um, it looks like they're going to be without their running backs, both Carlos Hyde and Chris Carson most likely won't be there. And if they are, they're most likely going to be limited snaps at this point. Regardless, I mean, this offense is still very, very scary and it all circulates around Russell Wilson. Now, say that I were to come in and give a game plan to how to contain this offense and make it happen is... We're going to have to instill legitimately a similar plan to what we put in during Kansas City. I know a lot of Bills fans were not happy about that, where we did whatever we could to take away the big play and just let the Chiefs run all over us. Ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, that's most likely what's going to have to happen. We just need to hope that Chris Carson and Carlos Hyde are not going to be on that field and we can just go on ahead and hope that our athletes will be able to take care of their third string and fourth string quarterback. We absolutely need to take away the big play and take away what Seattle does best, and that is pass the ball. And so be on the lookout for a shit ton of zone because legitimately, guys, and so once you throw Lockett and DK Metcalf out there, there is not a single DB on our roster that can win out in a foot race with this person. Man-to-man -man coverage is going to be completely out of the question. The Buffalo Bills need to fill their gaps, they need to play a lot of zone, and they need to do whatever they possibly can to stop the pass. And let's hope that our game plan against the Kansas City Chiefs works a hell of a lot better with the Seattle Seahawks. The one thing that makes me somewhat optimistic is, is the fact that we most likely will be seeing their third and fourth string running backs. So we're not going to be getting gashed by a healthy Chris Carson or a Carlos Hyde. It's definitely a nerve-wracking game plan, but at the end of the day, guys, no matter what we do, the Seattle Seahawks are going to put up points. Like, <laughs> I mean, there is absolutely no question in my mind that, that they are going to at least drop 30 and so on this Buffalo Bills defense. But that just sort of goes into a fantastic transition into the Buffalo Bills offense because, ladies and gentlemen, this is about to be a shootout. So yeah, dumb mafia. So now it really comes down to the Buffalo Bills offense versus the Seattle Seahawks defense. Now throughout the entire year, they have been less than stellar. Don't get me wrong, they have great athletes. As far as Jamal Adams, I'm pretty sure he's trending up into starting this game. We all know Jamal Adams. We've played him for several years while he was on the Jets. And then they also ended up picking up Carlos Dunlap from the Cincinnati Bengals, who is going to thus improve their defensive line. 
The only thing about the Seattle Seahawks defense, which makes me feel somewhat optimistic, and so their DBs not named Jamal Adams are relatively average below average. When it comes down to them being able to cover Stephon Diggs, John Brown, let's go on ahead and cross our damn fingers that he's somewhat healthy, and then a healthy Cole Beasley, I have a feeling that we're about to see the Buffalo Bills pass game rebirth today. And what makes it even better is, is the fact that it's supposed to be absolutely beautiful in Buffalo. Close to 70 degrees, clear skies, sunny, little wind. The Buffalo Bills have been drawing the short end of the stick the past couple of weeks when it has come to weather. It's either been pouring or there's either been a monsoon outside. It doesn't seem to be the case this Sunday. So in my opinion, say that I'm Brian Dable, what I'm going to do is I'm going to revert back to my exact same game plan from week one through week four, and that is going to be the pass game. That is what the Buffalo Bills do best. And a lot of people these past couple of weeks have been saying, oh, dude, no, like that was just a fluke week one through week four. Now, listen, I do not believe in that. I really think that once you put Josh Allen out in those beautiful damn conditions, he's going, he's going to make things happen. I really see the Buffalo Bills going back to a pass first offense, but at the end of the day, with the way that our run game performed against the New England Patriots, I wouldn't be surprised. I am not scared of this Seattle Seahawks defense whatsoever, and I see Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills offense in general really being able to take advantage of their weaknesses, specifically within their secondary. As far as a final score prediction is concerned, y'all know that I'm never going to pick against the Buffalo Bills. I will tell you that there's things where I see that this could be a toss up, because I mean, it's my team, right? Like I know what this team, what they can do at their full potential, what they can do on their best day, hence why I'm never going to pick against the Buffalo Bills, especially this year. I believe in this team's roster. I really believe in their fight and for the AFC East division. So I'm going to say that this is going to be a shootout. It really is. This game can go either way. It really can. But I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised if this game turns out to be like a 35 to 31, maybe even getting into the 40s. I mean, I'm not much of a gambling man. Psych, yeah, I am. I, I'm most likely putting money down on the over for this game, guys. Honestly, like, I mean, like with the weather conditions... Uh, and with the clear mismatches on both sides of the ball for offense and defense, I mean, this is going to be a shootout. This is going to be a very exciting game, and I'm really hoping that Josh Allen just, you know, he's able to reach the end zone at least one more time than Russell Wilson. There's no field goals allowed in this game. We need to score six each and every single possession because Russell Wilson's going to do it. We can't make mistakes. We can't turn the ball over. We can't give them um, fantastic field position. Honestly, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if we started Russell Wilson at his own one yard line for every single drive. He's most likely going to drive down the field for six. So the Buffalo Bills need to capitalize and execute consistently. We need a full four quarters of football. Dumb Mafia, thank you so much for tuning in to yet another edition of the Dumb Mafia Report. Do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, say that you're new here. My name is Dan Mitchell. I put out football videos and Buffalo Bills videos on a regular basis. Smash the living f out of that like button. And before I let you go, always remember, let's go Buffalo.